So we are going to do in continuation with rural development and in continuation with agricultural diversification we are going to do fisheries today. So in agriculture diversification we finished with animal husbandry and dairy. We've talked about horticulture. Right now we are going to do fisheries. Fishery is a, a source of light, livelihood for outside agriculture and it is india has a lot of coastal area because we have we are bordered by the arabian sea on the west east we have what is the indian ocean so we have a the coastline of india is a huge one you must go and that that should be a homework go around and see the coastal areas and wherever you can find the coastal area that is all the coast all along the coastal area the livelihood is fishing and so we and of course we have what this is known as a water body like for example if you're talking about the the seas and the oceans the, these are the water bodies and here we also talk about that's marine and you also have the inland water bodies like the lakes and the ponds etc and the rivers so uh, we also have this aquaculture and in the we it's been termed as blue revolution blue revolution and a lot of subsidies are being given here to popularize uh, breeding of fishes to make making it uh, so that the production increases export can go on people in this profession get money so you do get a subsidy for example if you want to start uh, self employment and you want you want to do a fish pond you will get some subsidy for it and we have this bioflock fish farming where we have a lot of tanks huge big tanks they are the depth is not much but then these are used for breeding and so just go through this we have also the national institute of rural development which is again involved in all this and every state has its own fishing uh, regulation and how they come up with that so fishing community is there so talking about let me just uh, so where kerala maharashtra gujarat tamil nadu and others like here fishery is an important source of livelihood in the rural areas and the fishing community in india depends almost equally on inland sources and marine sources of fishing now it's very interesting to know that the fishing community regards the water body as mother or provider like we say we talk about the earth as mother earth in the same manner the fishing community regards the water body as mother or the provider so what are the water bodies they are seas oceans rivers lakes natural aquatic ponds streams and these are an integral and life giving source for the fishing community and of course in india there has been an increase in allocation and the budget for newer technologies in fisheries and aquaculture and based on that this particular in this particular area fisheries has come a long way so from inland sources fish production is about 64% to the total value of fish fish production and 36% comes from the marine sector that the sea and the oceans and fish production accounts for around 0.8% of the total gdp so you can looking at the coastal areas you can say it's west bengal andhra pradesh and tamil nadu etc gujarat kerala they are the major fish producing states and 
the only thing is that a large share of fish worker families are poor there is a lot of underemployment here there are low per capita earnings and there is little mobility of labor to other sectors and in these there is a high rate of illiteracy and also one major problem that they face is the fishing community faces is indebtedness so it is important to assist them and the government has been doing a lot trying to uh, giving them subsidies giving them credit facilities through cooperatives and self help groups to meet the working capital requirement for marketing but yes there is a lot to be done there has to be uh, uh the fishing and pollution uh, there has to be some regulation regulation they ha they has it has to be controlled welfare programs for the fishing communities have to be reoriented in such a manner that it can provide long term gains and sustenance of livelihood so uh, so this is basically what we've seen is that uh, it is a blue revolution and i hope it makes big